I think he'll make uh, one of the best, uh, comparable to those astronauts knots which we've had in the past. He is uh, a very high intellectual man, good moral character, highly poised, very devoted to his family. I think he exemplifies the type of a man that is necessary for the successful completion of this type of a project. How long have you known him? Thirteen years. I understand at one time that he said that uh, possibly he wanted to be the first man on the moon? Yeah, as a small boy, I've been told that he said to his mother once that he would like to be the first man on the moon. It's highly possible that he may be so. Well, I was very thrilled getting the news. And, uh, my wife and family were also uh, very thrilled when I gave them the news. When do you start your training? I'm supposed to report uh, early in May to begin the training down at Houston. Being an astronaut is certainly a, a different occupation. Why did you apply for this? Well, I think basically I have a pioneering spirit. I like to do uh, new and novel things. Plus my background and training uh, uniquely quali qualifies me for this type of task. Now, as I understand, you're going to be in Project Apollo. This means the moon, of course. What are the chances that you may be going to the moon? Well, as you know, there were 19 selected in this uh, last selection process, which brings the total number to 50. And probably a good percentage of those 50 will be also qualified at the time. They picked the crew for the first Apollo uh, trip to the moon. Uh, that gives you some idea what my chances might be. I like the idea of going to the moon. That's why I volunteered for the program. I want to go. That hasn't crossed my mind, but there's a possibility that you could. Has the Air Force ever uh, been apprised of this possibility? Not to my knowledge. Years ago, you know, when he was just a little boy, so, well, I guess he must have been about 12. He said, Mother, someday I might be going to the moon. I might be the first one. I said, oh, no. <laughs> That was so far in the past that I just couldn't believe anything like this could happen. But you recognize its possibility today? I think it is. Well, the only thing I just felt like a very proud man, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I should think you would be. How do you go, to, go about uh, raising a son who uh, obviously has had pretty good background or he wouldn't have achieved this much? What guidelines do you have for raising, uh, raising boys? Well, I just can't explain that. A lot of people have asked me that, and uh, they say, well, didn't your children do this and that? And then, but I, I guess it was more so their own self. They, I, uh, I give them plenty of freedom, but they never seem to go off the track. Of course, I, I loped a lot with them when they were young. I, I, I act like one of them, you know, and that might have helped a lot, too.